the slide release is ambidextrous on both sides, the safety is ambidextrous on both sides. The Nintendo Zapper Ruger LCP, my Wolverine LCP2. This is a variant of the gun that John Wick used in John Wick 1. He used a P30L, so it's a little bit longer. But you can see the 38 Special along the top. And it looks like it did almost as much damage as the 38 Special, even though the bullet's only about half the size. Shoot her! Yes! For science. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Just wanted to do a quick uh, little review of why I decided to get a Glock 43. For those that watch this channel, uh, you'll know that I am in love with my Glock 43X. This is the Glock 43X, by the way, or what there is of it. So why would I want to get anything else? Well, to be quite frank, uh, I've been missing my pocket guns a little bit. Uh, the Wolverine LCP2 that I had, uh, the Sig P365, uh, Shan Chan's LCP, LCP Custom, things of that nature. I like, I like the option of having an itty bitty little gun that I don't have to carry in a pouch or have to worry about printing. Uh, my, my review of this gun, the 43X, um, I said I didn't need to worry about printing too much because I always carried it in a pouch. And I do. I have tried to carry it uh, concealed a couple of times wearing just a t-shirt. And the most successful I've been is where I use a uh, left-handed holster. And so like this is my back. And I have the gun this way rather than this way. Because then when you bend over you can see the handle. If you have it this way in a left-handed holster and you bend over, uh, it's a little bit more difficult to see. However, that's still not really any substitute for a pocket gun. So then I was like, well, do I really want to go back to pocket guns? And the answer obviously was no. Uh, there's a reason that I got rid of all those guns. I couldn't shoot very well with them. Or they weren't reliable or they had uh, manufacturing defects. I believe the LCP-2 um, didn't have a drop safety in it, which is, you know, that concerned me greatly about that gun. And I didn't want to go back to the range and learn how to shoot a whole other gun because I haven't had a whole lot of success with that up until the 43X. So I'm like, well, what can I do? And obviously the best answer was the 43. Uh, it's basically identical to the 43X, other than the fact that it's got a shorter grip. Which means I should be able to shoot this gun just as well as I shoot this gun. In fact, I just I just took all the pieces from this gun that I used to upgrade it and put them in this one. So all I did was I bought a Glock 43 frame and took all of my spare pieces and made another gun out of it. I mean, the uh, both these guns are empty, by the way. So, empty. Obviously, this one has no slide, so no concern there. So this is the slide that I've that I've customized. It's got custom everything in it other than the guide rod, which I'm still waiting on from the Glock store, but that's going to be customized too eventually. And it's machined and has a um, better springs in it and my night sights and my little Captain America backplate and all that stuff and this just goes right on to the 43X. So there's my 43X. So basically I just went and bought a little frame, put all my spare pieces in it, and now I've got my pocket gun that I should theoretically be able to shoot just as well as the 43X because it's got the exact same trigger and basically the same frame. Uh, this one is 0.1 inches thinner than this one is, which is, I had to get a new magazine catch for it, but that was it. The, uh, the downside to the Glock 43 is it only holds six rounds. Uh, six rounds isn't very many for a pocket gun. Most of them hold either seven or eight. Uh, I believe the M&P Shield, which is the Glock 43's main competitor, holds eight. So, I went and got this uh, ETS magazine off of eBay. It's a flush fit. 
and it holds seven. So uh, that's as many rounds as my LCP had when I carried that one with an extended magazine. So now I've got an itty bitty little package that holds seven plus one. I should be able to shoot it just as well as I shoot this gun, and I shoot this gun than any better than any gun I've ever owned. And now I've got a gun that I can carry virtually in my pocket. Uh, my plan is to probably just get a Kydex holster for it and put it in my pants underneath a t-shirt, because with this itty bitty little grip, it shouldn't print at all. Now a lot of people say they like the pinky extender because that helps them shoot the gun better. I opted to not go with the pinky extender on this gun. I can still almost get my pinky around it. I mean, I can. There's there's something there, but not much. But I want this one for deep, deep concealment. So obviously, the bigger this thing is, I mean, I might as well just go with this gun at that point. But I just wanted like a nice little gun that I can just carry around in the summertime. You know, I do have the option of putting this in my pocket if I want to, but I probably never will. I'll just keep it in an ADB little holster uh, in my pants, and I should be good to go. So. Uh, the thing that I'm mostly interested in is will I actually shoot with this gun as well as I shoot with this gun because the only real difference is the pinky so uh, I'm very interested to go to the range and see is that dangling pinky really that big of a deal am I going to shoot worse with this gun than I do with this one simply because I can't get my pinky on it and therefore I can't get as good a grip uh, time will tell. I'm definitely going to be doing a range video of that when I get this out to the range, and uh, you guys will probably see my first my first shots downrange with this thing, and we'll see what happens. But uh, yeah, as of right now, I'm pretty happy with it. I mean, I basically got two guns now, both both of them that I can shoot really well with. Uh, this one's still going to be my my primary carry, but if I want to, you know, go without the pouch or put something in my pocket then I've got this one with the 7 plus 1 flush mag. So, yeah, that's uh, why I bought this gun in a nutshell, and uh, I will be keeping you guys updated on how it goes. So uh, I'll see you at the range in a future video. Thanks for watching.